So what is this 50-year-old millennial book all about that I've been posting about every day? And, and the good news is my daily posts will be coming to an end uh, about the book. Um, but certainly it's another leadership book, and God knows there's enough of them out there. Um, and you would think that the 50-year-old millennial is going to be a thing about millennials, and it's not. Um, what it really is, is about, it really is about is the leadership gap out there. And the way to close it. And it's from my career observations. There's a little bit of storytelling about my life at the beginning about, you know, influence of mom and dad and siblings and, and my family now and um, leaders in my life and the lessons I've learned and the observations I've made, both good and bad, that have allowed me to take this, you know, 24 years in leadership positions and leave people with a process so they can go out and be servant leaders. Because the philosophy is great. You got to want to serve and you got to believe that making other people better is going to make you better and let you grow your company. Um, but the gap usually is for the leaders who don't jump in. Well, how do I measure it? Um, and, and, and quite frankly, sadly, um, how do I know it's working? Um, and how do I do it? And so what I've done is I've taken kind of some of the best through the course of my career and I've built it into this process. Um, these five anchors of servant leadership that I talk about that are behavior based. And that's going to be three quarters of the book. So we're going to leave you with that. So when I do a keynote speaking session, so uh, West End Home Builders coming up in February, uh, book might not be ready, but I'll try and get it out after to everybody who was there. Um, Chamber of Commerce in Guelph, any future keynote speaking sessions around the book, what I'd like to do is leave a copy of the book there, and then all my clients will get a copy of the book. It will be available to for sale to anyone else, so if you want to reach out to me, please do. Um, I will get you a copy as soon as it's released. It is being self-published right now. Um, there will be a little bit of a PR push, so you will see some stuff out there. Um, and, and lastly, uh, if, if you are interested in the book and you do want to see it, again, I'm happy to get it to you. Um, and the piece I want to really focus on is most of the proceeds from the book. So once I pay the gentleman who's helping me write it, um, and, and pay for the printing cost. Most of the proceeds are going to go to a local charity here in Guelph, um, the Children's Foundation of Guelph Wellington. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, that's kind of cool because the goal with the book was never for it to be a revenue stream. It was supposed to be a leave behind for my customers. So if we can sell a bunch of these and have a positive impact in my local community, that's great too. Anyways, so that's what's going on. That's what this 50 year old millennial is about. It's about uh, the millennials having the courage to demand more from leadership. Um, and the book identifies the gaps that are being created, but most importantly, the process to put in place to close it. Um, and yeah, there's probably a little bit of, you know, I feel I identify a little more with uh, the entering workforce than I do with the exiting one, uh, hence the 50-year-old millennial piece. I'm not 50 yet, though, so that is kind of a stretch with the book, but I will be by the time this thing uh, is out there into as many hands as possible. I will be 49, just to be clear. Um, anyways. That's the book. That's what it's about. If you're interested, give me a shout. Love to get you a copy. Um, and again, any of the proceeds, uh, once all my costs are covered, are going to go to the uh, Children's Foundation here in Guelph. All the best.